did my uh, here it's today it was a little bit busy how you can hear it the wind is blowing and it's dark dark sky here I have I'm finished here and go back to Cremona because tonight then I have another transmission that I go and visit my colleague and my friend and he was even um, an apprentice of mine and I'm going to visit him Andrea Valazian. So today is a, is a YouTube day I would say. As you can see I'm right now in Bologna at the fairground. It's a huge fairground and it took me a little bit to find where I can park my car but it's actually right here in front. There is a big square you do not see it because there are so many trees here but in this area here on this main square there are other cars parked and on the other side there is even a parking spot so it's huge and at least by the cars I see there are quite a few people here um, this is the fair why I'm coming to uh, Bologna it's Italy sounds classic that's the title of this uh, event we are all somehow hungry to go to a, a fair of the, of the we want to talk about. But uh, now Frankfurt, they have closed. Shanghai, not anymore. Asia, for a few long time, all always at home and we do everything online, which works great. But I... I'm somehow hungry. I'm a, a fair animal. I want to show my things to everybody. At least they should see what I'm doing. Yeah. So then when they, this event with this nice Italy Sounds Classic title popped up, I said, hey, I will participate. Prices were extremely um, modest and I thought, hey, this, I just go there. But then at the very end, the reason I'm not exhibiting is not that it, I, it's not a good fair. It's rather because I thought, Edgar, don't make the same mistake again and again. And now I don't want to make um, here names of exhibitions which I made, but one is from Busan, the World Fair, music fair. That was everything else than a world music fair. And the other one is a long time ago already. And the other one was a fair in Lugano. And uh, that was actually everything else than actually a good fair for me. So now, today here I have even, I, got, I, I went already inside. I didn't take too much a look. This is my, they knew me already. They were kind of hope, um, expecting and welcoming me with open hands. And they knew already that I have this channel, that I will transmit, that I'm coming today because I had to register um, online. So you register and then you can go in for free. Okay. The whole thing is um, um, uh, how should I say uh, organized here from all these here from Rai Bologna Congressi Fiere, from the Ministry of Education, uh, uh, Regione uh, Emilia Romagna, and then even the European String Teacher Association, where I've been in Austria, which comes from Graz, and then Bologna, UNESCO, City of Music, and um, now here I can even, ah, even Yamaha is a sponsor, and uh, Rai Radio, so it's, it's actually, a, 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 it seems to be very well organized and I think it is the right time to get started with something like this. Um, inside I cannot talk this loud because they are in some corners, they are um, making s small concerts. So the whole thing is a little bit more, um, I would say more, this here is the Volvo Congress Center, okay, this building here. Um, in here there is now less air. Here you have this register front desk. It's all still very tiny, but it's, uh, I have to admit that I think it is somehow cute. You see even here somebody with a cello and uh, people register. And uh, this is a little bit how it looks. 
Now I will swap the camera around. I know you, you know me already, right? You know how I look like. And we swap the camera, turn it around, and then we go in here. Yeah? It's everything very clean and very nice. And I hope I'm not too bumpy here. So this is the first impression when you get in. Here they are expecting me already. Here you can go upstairs. They do a lot of concerts. And then here you have already, you see the first um, stands with the music stands. And on the other side here behind there is the bar. I went already there for exhibitors. They even had the lunch for free and I got even a free lunch. So that was the reason why I'm a few minutes late here. This here is the bar. Very nice. So we'll have a coffee after this transmission. And uh, here is my friend Alessandro, who has, um, he was uh, working before for, for um, Geva and opened now his own uh, independent uh, company. And uh, I, I had my lunch with him together. And then we have here, over there, there was just in the very back side, there was a concert and here you can see the chairs. Now, I, I talked already to my friend Amorim as well and he has his lunch right now so I will turn around to the other side and then I come back here again so I, I just want to show you all of the, the music stands this here I'm you certainly a violin maker so I'm, I'm more uh, looking and focusing on violin making but here probably it's, a, it's software where you can write the music and uh, very interesting I'm, I always love this these high-tech things but as a violin maker I don't need the software but here, Milena Noventa is here a violin maker, okay, and she has exhibited a few instruments. Here, this is Milena, and I think this is Milena. Say hello to YouTube. Huh? I can take your business card? Yes. Cioè, io parlo anche in italiano, però il mio canale, sai com'è? Molto carino. Ah, ma questo è un adesivo? Ah, un adesivo, adesso, ops, sorry, allora ti, no, no, non questo, a ah, questo, biglietto da visita, ok, mi fai vedere i tuoi strumenti? E me li, me li... Tu parli italiano? Ah, inglese? Eh, me in italiano. Ah, tu in italiano, ok, so I will transmit here, so I, afterwards I will put this uh, information down below in the, in the description, ok? Ok, this is better, ok. <laughs> How do you want that people contact you? Email, WhatsApp? Uh, it's the same. It's all the same. You just, you contact. just get contact. <laughs> that's, the, that's the most important thing. Yes, of course. So these are three instruments you made. Where are you working? Sorry, I cannot in put Parma. my... In Parma. Okay, sorry, yes. because I need the glasses, I'm but I cannot see without glasses. Yeah. Sorry. I'm from Brescia, but... Uh, I are you from Brescia? Parma. Okay. Yes. Interesting. Yes, your name is not unfamiliar, as it's famous. Yes. Mm. <laughs> and this is a model Poggi. Uh huh. The name of uh, the instrument is Zeno. Zeno. Are you every instrument you yes. give a name? Ah, oh, that's nice. And I made it in 2021. Uh huh. And uh, I use uh, uh, foil varnish for this. And uh, I don't know. Ask me. Now we will do something better here. I give you a, a microphone. Can I just, just, I don't yes. touch you, just stay cool. And I will put it in here. Hold on. You need yes, uh, like this is good. Now Milena is, has a better voice. Okay. <laughs> okay. So this is the, the Milena. Ah, no, no, no sorry. Um, the, the, the wrong the name. What was the name? Um, Instrument yes. name, Zeno. Zeno. Yes. Okay. Wow. May I show you? Yes, of course. The you scroll. See? Very nice work. Thank you. Mm -hmm. This is the back. Wow. Nice, nice. Thank you. It, uh, it's based on um, a model Poggi Guarneri. Okay. And these Here. ones are a little bit darker, or it's because the light, you know, no, it's a little, little bit darker. darker. I want a little bit yes. darker, yeah. Uh, this is a Marino Capicchioni model. Uh -huh. 
and uh, I made in 2020. And uh, yes. Maybe I, I do it by myself like this. Yes. Yep. Then it's a little bit more easy. Okay. Very nice. Wow. This is marvelous. Thank you. Very nice work. Wow. And this one is the name is? Giove. Giove. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> ah, here you have all these things. Sierra Edgar, thanks for the opportunity to enjoy part of the fair without expense of traveling and time. You're welcome, that's why I do it. Okay. And we are Michele. Michele. Yes. Uh, it's based on uh, Pollastri model, Pollastri. Augusto Pollastri okay. model. I love this model. <laughs> the elegance. Uh huh. Yes. Very and uh, it was yes. made in 2021. Yes. Michele. Interesting. For how long do you make instruments? Um, ten years. Ten? Yes. Okay. Around Oops. ten years, yes. Very interesting. I started the school in 28. The school in Parma? In Parma, ah, Okay, yes. that's why you... you My you... master was uh, Renato Scraldavezza. Okay, I know yes. him very well, yes, of course. <laughs> Thank you, Milena, that Thank was you. very nice. Now I have to fold this one, sorry, but otherwise it doesn't fit in my pocket here behind. Okay. And now I will take my microphone yes. again. Thank okay. you. Perfect. Thank you. Ciao, ciao. Enjoy. Io ho da qualche parte un mio biglietto da visita, se lo vuoi, ce l'ho. Io ti conosco per nome. Certo. Everybody knows me and I have friends <laughs> all over, right? Thank you. <laughs> ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao. Bye, bye. Allora, here is another thing. Here we have loudspeakers, probably very high quality loudspeakers, and they have even a listening room. Okay, this is also interesting that you have these listening rooms. So you can probably go inside and check the instruments in a very quiet environment. Qua si possono provare strumenti? Interessante, ne? Hmm. I capito. This is a, is a good environment for making a fair with the instruments. And here I have another two friends here. They come sometimes to my, to my um, workshop in uh, Cremona. I can give them a microphone. Who is, who is talking English? The, Me. You okay, are talking English. Must, so then I, I will put it okay. up here. Okay. Yes. This will hold like yeah. this. Important okay. that it doesn't fall, but yeah. it's, yeah, I think it will keep like okay. this. Very good. So this is Ines and Vibe. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, uh, Yachty uh, and, 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 uh, and uh, Vib, Violin Vib Makers in Parma. Yeah. Right. Yes. Uh, now, sorry, can you repeat me again yes. your, your, uh, your story? The, One is, yes. uh, you're not both from Italy, you are from... No, I'm from Denmark. From yes. Denmark, yes, but right? I've been, to, I've been in Italy for almost oh. seven, eight years now. Eight um, years already? Yes, wow! Yes. Time flies. Um, I came to study I came to study violin making at the school of, uh, of Parma, of Scrollavezza. And, uh, and now, for the past two years and a half, uh, I've been collaborating with, uh, with my partner Pietro. Uh, as uh, and we oh, we co-founded uh, co-founded Yotti and Weber violin uh -huh. makers. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. So these nice. are a few of our instruments. Wow. Collection. And you do them two together, or each of you makes We've single instruments? Well, we actually just started recently making uh, complete uh, collaborations. Okay. In the past, we made our each his own instrument. Um, and uh, yeah, recently, it's, but, but we are very used to working together. It's, uh, it's all, all the way uh, since we started school. Uh, we've been collaborating also outside of school, so uh, kind of a symbiotic. It's a little bit difficult to make yes. it on the focus here, sorry. Um, can we take it? Yes, yes here it's on focus. Of our, of our so, instruments. And uh, we are very interested by. Um, we are very inspired by uh, especially the beginning, the early 1900s uh -huh. violin makers like Scarabotto and uh, Gaetano Scarabotto, uh, 
supernati. Um, there are main inspirations. Actually, we just started making some copies as well from from that period. They're over here. Okay. So we, we don't show them now all the instruments, yeah. otherwise uh, yes. it, the transmission will be two hours. But here, this is actually, yes. ah, this one, wow, yes. this is, looks really nice. This huh? is a copy of, um, of a, um, a Gaetano Scarabotto violin um, with, a bit, with a few modifications on the, on uh -huh. the construction it, itself. But, but the varnish is... Uh, Very is nice. Good. Thank you. Can I has already a little bit this touch of that it is already yes that it has lived already i don't know why my phone now has difficulties to put on focus now that's good so it has already a little bit this lived impression already and a light patina that yeah it does give the instrument a little bit more nice. life uh-huh a nice texture texture exactly. yeah very nice wow so i will also put your information certainly on the sorry here i'm, I'm not sure if i did it here correct yes is this okay yes, it is. yeah very nice off, so I yes <laughs> next time you are in cremona you stop by again huh? Definitely. right grazie grazie ciao 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 ragazzi alla prossima ciao and then you hear here a lot of noise because it's um, the music on the other side and I cannot... What are you doing? Indie music label? Ah, okay, you see, so you... This is not of my business, sorry. No, 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 I'm an aiutario, so I look only at the violin. Yes, but in fact... Vuoi che cosa voi producete per, per noi, sì. noi produciamo musica, facciamo tutto quello che quindi partiamo dalla realizzazione, alla produzione, alla messa in commercio nei vari digital ah, okay. store. Sì, abbiamo l'etichetta da Fulcine, vicino alla Venna. Ok, so they're producing music. So if in case you're a musician here in Italian, in Italy, then you can go to them. E dove siete? Ad Alfonsine, vicino alla Venna. Ah, ok, vicino a Ravenna, ok, wow. Ciao ciao, eh? grazie, grazie. Mi dai anche il coso così lo metto sotto. Um, grazie. Me lo puoi piegare? Tante volte così ci sta nella mia... Bravissimo. Ancora una volta. Ciao. Grazie, ciao. So now you want you wonder what's this music here and this is here from this side, okay? But I I'm, I don't have the right microphones that you can now listen very well to this music. Okay. So now I try to see here Gerardi. Gerardi. Okay. Non ci conosciamo, aspetta, gli do un microfono veloce, così non ti ho chiesto se posso trasmettere, ma così è più autentico. Aspetta un attimo, lo facciamo qua, così. Ok, now he's professional. Gerardi. 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 E di dove? È di Reggio Emilia. Reggio Emilia. Sì, sì. Ok, so he's a violin maker, violin maker, right? Here from this area, I will take his business card and I will put it certainly under the in the description so you can even contact all these makers and uh, this is sono tutti strumenti tuoi quei due là sì 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 ok e poi gli altri sono strumenti antichi eh sì esatto restaurati ok e messi a nuovo insomma ok questo violoncello che cos'è questo violoncello è cioè un violoncello da, da studio eh. ok però comunque fatto con i canoni della liturgia cremonese, uh -huh. modello stradivare. Like this. Wow, this is super nice wood, huh? There's even the texture you can see. Very nice. So 
this is his instruments made by himself. Uh -huh. Interesting. Very funny, it's smiling this scroll to me. Very nice. Wow. And then here, something older. Here, the light is not so super fancy. Posso? Oops. Non riesce a mettere a fuoco. Tap, tap, tap. Okay. Okay. E questo qui, vediamo un po'. Uh -huh. Ok. Questi non li hai fatto tu, no? No. Noi altri, ok. Bene, bene. I hope you enjoy this here. So these two instruments he made. And uh, ah, here's even the brand of his the two F-holes. Mm. Yep. Well, I hope I, the, the music is not too loud for you, otherwise it's really difficult for you to see here. No. Always interesting to see other people's work and to Look at the instruments. I hope you enjoy this. Maybe you wanted to see more the, the entire proceeding of the fair. But I think this is good. Gerardi. Ti nome? Alessandro. Alessandro. Alessandro, è stato un piacere. Quando vieni a Cremona, vieni a trovarmi. Ti do un mio biglietto da visita. Aspetta un attimo. Oops, sorry. Okay, hold on. Questo è il mio biglietto, ok? Va bene? Ciao ciao! Ti rubo di nuovo il microfono. Ok, so this was a little bit this. Here we go and listen to a little bit to the music. Ok. Beta, greetings from Minnesota. Ciao Beta, again. Saludos di Porto Rico. interesting here they ask for charity then they have some guitars here Uteria Ardo if you're looking for guitars we also I just take here very interesting tops here I just take a, a business card here yeah. interesting shape here so I put even his description underneath and then here what do we have Sergio Tommasone Bologna Rome he is a music store with probably a lot of guitars and all these things and then here all for music from Bologna and then here again also this is a huge big stand and even the, all the trumpets and everything. And then here we have Amorim, where is the big boss? He went away. He actually told me that he will wait for me. Ciao. Vuoi il microfono così puoi parlare? Il tuo capo è anche qui, però giusto? Però io ho detto che io vengo alla fine, aspetta un attimo che ti metto il microfono, un attimo, con sa, è così, tu ce l'hai anche tu, adesso sei col microfono, tic, così. Voi siete venuti subito alla prima edizione. La prima edizione di Italy Sounds Classic, uh -huh. sì. Ma ci ho pensato anch'io, però poi non è la prima volta che faccio queste cose, per cui fatto più di una volta in vita sì, mia sì. una fiera subito la prima edizione e poi 
dopo mi sono sempre detto prima vai lì, vedi le cose e poi decidi per la prossima volta per certo, cui... certo. No, noi oggi sì. abbiamo deciso di venire piuttosto per insomma conoscere e avere il rapporto lì con i ragazzi dei conservatori mm -hmm. no? e, ed anche per fare insomma vedere il nostro lavoro, gli strumenti uh -huh. e gli archi oppure adesso abbiamo iniziato anche un programma di noleggio degli strumenti per i ragazzi studenti di musica del conservatorio uh -huh. sarebbe un processo di noleggio con la possibilità di acquisto dello strumento uh -huh. quindi adesso stiamo cercando di capire anche con loro se è una possibilità giusta se, okay. se per loro c'è senso quindi insomma è una, una bella opportunità di avere Dopo tanti, tanti, tanti mesi senza il rapporto con i musicisti, avere un po' di contatto con loro. Adesso arriva Luis. Ah, here comes the big boss. Uh, ciao ragazzi, buon caffè. <laughs> per, per me? Non era per lui, dai. Ah, per no, poi, 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 poi dallo a lui, tranquillo, tranquillo. Ma non sono ancora mai venuto da, da voi direttamente a Cremona, lavoriamo tutti e due a Cremona, non sono ancora venuto, adesso eh, devo venire, né? Venire perché eh? così facciamo un caffè brasiliano. Ah sì, caffè Bevo. brasiliano, e questo qui adesso è il caffè, è anche il caffè brasiliano o no? Sì, questo caffè il è profumino è italiano, è buono. Oh sì, vero. Ma il caffè non, Aspetta, non lo Aspetta un attimo so. che ti, no, ti okay. attacco il microfono qui così. Grazie. Così Spero che non si amplifica troppo la musica. I hope the music isn't too loud with these microphones. We will see if it works out, right? Okay. So they just came here and jumped right into this new experience, which is always very good. Otherwise, things like this wouldn't exist. <laughs> I was also thinking of participating. Stavo pensando di partecipare anch'io, perché poi ho pensato faccio giusto una visita. Sì, capito? Sì, ma avete... se comunque sei qua adesso sì, partecipando ma... in un altro modo, questo è importante. No, no. Ottimo, e poi dopo tu mi, mi dai veloce un tuo... Aspetta, faccio ah, okay. una cosa così, lo metto nella tasca. Ah, ah, questo ah. è il biglietto da visita? No, questo è pure uno sticker del, del sito del canone. Ah, ok. Questo è sticker. Ok, faccio così e poi dopo lo metto nella descrizione. Oh, grazie. Sotto, me. <ride> Abbiamo qualcos'altro da dire, quanto abbiamo? 27 minuti, di là ho ancora due stand, abbiamo poi un mezz'oretta di questa fiera, perché non so esattamente come viene. Qua avete... Ah, qui, questi sono tutti gli strumenti del Master, qui, da Amorim, a Gigatoni, Anna Arietti, Anna è la mia pupil, la trasmetto da Gigatoni. Sì, è stato anche una tua allieva, no? Yeah. Sì. Farò una visita nel suo laboratorio, sì. spero. E qua they brought a lot of instruments here in big cases. Here they're clapping the hands, those, everything. Yeah. Ottimo. Ti rubo di nuovo il microfono. Per favore. Va bene. Grazie mille. Buon lavoro. Grazie, grazie. Dopo ti Saluto. offro un caffè. Sì? Fa pochissimo. Sì. So now we go over there. Ciao ciao, ne? So now here over there we have another two um, booths. Yeah. So here we have Tactus Casa Discografica. So they, they produce discs and recording and all these kind of things. And then here this is the Maestri Liutai, la Liuteria Italiana, which is owned by Alessandro. Tufa, the man which I showed you immediately in the beginning and he is um, actually uh, was salesman for Geva for many years and then he just uh, had this uh, desire to create his own um, uh, company and so he's taking now instruments from all over from Italy and is representing like 20 violin makers or something like this, yeah? And uh, I had with him my panino with him and we were talking about what he's doing. And uh, I think it was actually a nice 
idea. If I show you all the instruments here, I think this is getting too much. But uh, I will put the description below, a lot of viola even here. Very nice instruments. They look all very convincing. And it's a lot of instruments. I don't want to go too much into the details because myself, even the light is actually not so fancy that I cannot see very well, you know. It's a indirect light, so even my camera has difficulties to put on focus. But you see here a little bit, so slightly antiqued and uh, yeah if you're a musician and you're looking for something here you can certainly uh, check out and search for something i show you now alessandro he's here he's a, he's a little bit shy you know uh, sei timido Parli in inglese? Oh no. no. Ah, he doesn't talk English. I didn't know that. You know, I know him for years. He always wanted to try to sell me or try. He sold me cases, but I was never a big case buyer. So I, I, I make instruments and then the cases and all this is not really my, my core business. So I don't have a big music shop. I just, I'm a small craftsman making his violins. So he didn't become rich with me okay <laughs> <laughs> with others okay yeah oh, they, this is huh? but it's always nice huh so I'm, i see already here a coffee machine a, a real italian one oops like this so i'm looking forward to have my coffee here i think this was actually a very nice uh, transmission uh, it's a very tiny exhibition it's uh, the first things when you make them are small in the beginning and then they grow. Uh, I think there is a lot of potential on this uh, Italy Sounds Classic. Uh, I'm not impressed now how many other companies and I'm not the man who would do something like this because there are so many other competitors. Uh, this is not the, the issue, but what I was really impressed by this short visit is the quantity of young musicians here. Uh, where, wherever I'm looking, I see musicians and that's, that's actually a good point. So let's see how things proceed with fairs, virus, and other things, time, time is a, is a very important ingredient. And then maybe Edgar next year is at Bologna, sounds classic, okay? Or virtual or in real with a booth. But I think it's uh, worth, if you are in this business, if you are playing musician, uh, if you are playing music, if you want to listen, a lot of concerts, workshops, things like this, I think it's a good event. Thanks. I hope you enjoy this one and we see us tonight again at when I visit the workshop of Andrea Varazzani. Ciao ciao. Bye bye. Ciao ciao. Ciao ciao.